So we haven't really discussed the spending side of things for Easter this week too much, but the letter for spring is, you know, it's actually better than I originally looked at. And that's all because of the diamond Easter egg. I really overlooked it uh, because I was like, well, you, yeah, you have to spend a decent amount. You, however, get prism starry gems that are like kind of close to the value there's also the easter package which has its benefits if you are going to go and get the entire event you definitely need those sewing tools uh cores of transcendence are nice prism starry gems are nice but i think the biggest thing i looked over was the fact that you're guaranteeing yourself four easter eggs that are diamond what does that mean for you if you do go in on this event even as a lower spender and not finishing out the entire event Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think if you are a spender this week, if it's a good deal for you. Let's jump right into it. So here's the fact of the matter. Uh, yes, if you are going crazy all in on this event, you technically need to go and get this Easter package for 50 bucks. I mean, yes, they're giving you a decent amount of starry gems. They're giving you cores of transcendence, relics, I guess the one interesting thing is they are giving you a festival skin package, even though there's new, no new festival skin, which is weird not having an Easter skin for once, but that's neither here nor there. You know, they could have just made one for a regular hero that's a tenant. Just saying. But uh, doing the Easter package really isn't even necessary unless you're going all in on this event. And when I say all in, I mean you're buying up all of these here. That does also mean you're going to get a lot of charm treasure train coupons but let's be honest that is super whale territory we're talking about uh maybe average player maybe even someone who just takes the time and they buy the monthly cards which i don't even think mine is active right now which is a big issue uh so that is something to consider well 750 vip points what does that actually look like to get to here well let's do a calculation here Ten thousand divided by 750 all you have to buy is 13 months of the main monthly card and if you do that well you do get all of the rewards yes it is nice because the chest has the auspicious lucky cat yes it is nice because you're getting double the sky labyrinth privileges which i guess does that actually carry over hmm, i actually didn't even think about this does this carry over to the fantasy starry gems not like it really matters because those aren't super important but like kind of maybe i don't know uh yes you're getting pickaxes and some other randomness but let's be honest the most important thing here is that at the 10,000 5,000 3,500 and 2,500 point marks you're getting a diamond easter egg now why is that so important why am i talking about it so much that's because these diamond easter eggs guarantee a treasure train treasure so even if you're not going in on the main part of the event which of course has a ton of treasures at your disposal you're essentially able to get the same as doing four loops in the event when it comes to the actual treasure portion of this event so even if you're not planning on doing much in this event that's still four of those chests now that does lead me to be a little mixed feelings on this because you can only get the orange treasures and they are for only tower of dream tower of oblivion sealand and aspen dungeon which is like the third best option the best option of course is just for void campaign and such or really i guess it's the class ones but we've only ever had class ones in the hero token series uh which is interesting most of the other ones like retro gaming and stuff they're mainly for void campaign and campaign these are the premium ones you really want to go for and then you do have some ones like this that are like the secondary things if you want to get to purgatory 300 in aspen dungeon this is cool if you want to push further in sealand and i guess it does make sense because sealand is the thing that has the most recent power up up to level 40 so it is somewhere some of the big whales might want to chase it as an average player you probably don't need to worry about it too much though and that also leads me to the point of like let's be honest new year was pvp don't care uh Chinese New Year was like the Void Vortex, but at this point, you don't really care about that either. I guess we'll say the uh, the previous one here. Which wait, Hold on, what holiday was this? Was it? Oh, these were the Valentine's Day ones. These were decent because they were for class, but they just didn't have any amazing secondary stats. 
and then now we land on Easter with these. This leads me to believe that if you have a limited amount to spend per year, I would probably still skip this because you guys have seen in the past, we've had ones that are for transcendence like factions and these have been some of the best. Transcendence, uh, transcendence. These have been like the best of the best transcendence and we haven't had any of them yet this year and we had so many of them during 2023 like literally the first series i get granted this was the first one we ever had so it was interesting to see how it worked out but 2024 has kind of sucked so far granted these are still decent giving holy damage and control immunity control immunity is one thing you definitely need a ton of if you're pushing the further difficulties in sea land uh, and like I said, you're getting four of these guaranteed. So that is pretty premium. Beyond that, there's two of these rewards at the end here. Divine Power, Roar Gems, and a Scattered Spirit Vein, which are super, super premium to get if you can RNG it and luck into it. That can be absolutely amazing. I mean, I guess even if you hit these down here, that's 10 shards, which 10% of a single core, that it's not great. Sublimation is kind of not that great either. Everything else is decent. The last two being great. All for doing the letter from spring. So I really don't know. Honestly, it's kind of funny. I still don't know if I'm going to go crazy all in on this event. I think I am just because, you know, there are the really premium resources at the bottom. Granted, I don't even have all my stuff invested right now because we're in this weird middle ground of I just don't know what I'm doing personally just yet until we finally get a solo waking session and i can buy a bunch of hero copies so it's gonna be a tricky one uh definitely don't know just yet what the plan is of course vulcan is gonna be our main hero uh but like i said it, we could go all in on this event but we're we're already sitting on so many resources i guess the one thing we could do for the sake of our own account is to go for more treasure train because Let's be honest, this is the biggest power system in the game nowadays. I still think it's even more important than getting like soul awakenings or even your soul gathering statue. So that is the big upside of doing even just this. So even if you're not going to go all in on the actual event, getting these eggs might really be worthwhile. So let me know what you guys think. Like I said, if you guys are just willing to say I'm going to play for the next year, you can literally just buy all 10,000 VIP experience on monthly cards and stay a monthly card holder and just be like, yeah, I got a ton of extra resources because this is probably one of the best resource generation we've seen for the amount of VIP. So definitely keep that in mind. Even if you are a lower spender, you just got to spend it up front. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.